Welcome to Board Game Casual. Today we're looking at some awesome collapsible dice trays as well as some dice shakers from Harbor Loot. In a previous video, I talked about why you should consider getting a dice tray if you don't already have one. And I reviewed a cheap wooden dice tray I got from Amazon that has served me well over the years. As much as I like my wooden dice tray, it does have one flaw. It's not the easiest thing to store takes up a decent amount of shelf space. I don't really want to rest games on top of it in fear of putting a circle-shaped dent into the box. And because it's round, it doesn't really store well on its side. It's also so bulky that it's not something I want to travel with. I've been interested in trying some of those folding, collapsing types of dice trays for a while, and I was fortunate to have the good folks over at Harbor Loot send me a few to try. The beauty of these collapsible dice trays is that they take up almost no room and can be stored anywhere. Harbor Loot designed these to fit inside the pocket of a binder. What's nice is that these are about as affordable as the wooden tray I bought all those years back. In fact, these are cheap enough that you could throw a dedicated one right into the game box that you bring over to a friend's house or when traveling. Or even just having multiple trays on your shelf at home. There are a lot of games where each player is rolling their own dice. So instead of passing the dice tray around the table, it would be a lot more convenient for each player to have their own tray. Plus, who doesn't want to choose their own color? And while I'm fine keeping my one wooden tray on the game shelf, there's no way I'd store two of them, much less four. But with these collapsible trays, I can store four or even more of them, no problem. The fact that they can be unfolded flat actually make them multi-use. In a pinch, you could use them for cards or other components in lieu of a playmat. They're nowhere near as spongy as neoprene, of course, but it's still easier to pick cards up versus off of a hard table. When the sides are folded in their up position, they work really well at keeping your dice in the tray. Yet the walls are low enough that you can still read the dice faces from across the table. Now one thing I was worried about was the bottom of the tray bowing when snapped together. I've heard this can sometimes be a problem with collapsible trays, keeping them from sitting flat. But this is definitely not a problem with the Harbor Loot trays. The bottom of the tray is nice and thick and lays perfectly flat. In terms of looks and build quality, these things are great. I really like that they put the logo on the bottom rather than being in your face on the top. It gives them a nice clean look. And the logo on the bottom is just cleanly embossed. Maybe the opposite of embossed, engraved? as opposed to a, a sticker or ink that would rub off. So it's got a real nice premium feel. The bottom and the outside of the tray is a faux leather material. It feels great in the hand and provides the right amount of grip without feeling like it's sticking to the table. It also works well on a neoprene mat without being too slippery. The velvet inner liner is plush and looks great. The colors really pop. Another thing I really like here are the metal snaps. They work well, they feel pretty heavy duty, and have a satisfying click. Also, generally speaking, the reason I like snaps is because you can always use a flathead screwdriver if you want to adjust the tension. They work so much better than this through-hole mechanism on these silicone component trays, for example. I got these for a buddy a while back, and they're such a pain to get the plug all the way through, not to mention taking them apart later without tearing them. I much, much prefer snaps. One thing that amazes me is how quiet they are. They satisfyingly dampen the noise of dice rolls. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with my wooden tray. Now, by coincidence, I recently had a buddy gift me a set of this other brand of hexagon-shaped folding trays he got from Amazon. It was actually perfect timing because it allowed me to compare the two trays to each other. You can definitely tell the difference in the quality. The Harbor Loot tray is heftier, and the hexagon tray definitely feels a bit flimsier. The bottom and the sides of the hexagon tray are much thinner than the Harbor Loot tray. The material that wraps the tray also feels thicker on the Harbor Loot tray and thinner on the Hexagon tray. Where the inner liner on the Harbor Loot tray is a plush velvet, 
the inner liner on the Amazon tray is more of a thin suede type of feel. In terms of sound dampening, here's a demo of how these two compare sound-wise. My biggest criticism of the hexagon tray versus the harbor loot tray really just has more to do with the characteristic of the shape. Because the hexagon tray walls are so upright, it's harder to see the dice from across the table than compared to the four-sided rectangular trays where the walls are lower since they're at more of an angle. I also think that in general, when unfolded, the rectangle tray is more of a convenient shape to carry around and store. And the tray size gives you a little more room to sort or organize dice that you've rolled. So let's talk about price versus value. Now, I was fortunate enough to have Harbor Loot send me these trays and to get these hexagon trays as a gift from a friend. So putting price aside, there's no question which tray I prefer between the two. The Harbor Loot tray feels like much more of a premium quality product. And while it's a bit of an apples to oranges comparison, I much prefer the rectangle shape to the hexagon personally. That said, these Harbor Loot trays and these Hexagon trays from Amazon come in at two different price points. I believe the Harbor Loot tray retails for $14.99, and a six-pack of these Hexagon trays appears to be selling for $20 to $25. Bucks. So is the quality of the Harbor Loot tray worth the premium that you'd pay? I think that's a hard one for me to answer definitively because really it depends on you and your needs. For example, if I'm on a strict budget and I'm throwing a one-time party where I'm going to have 6 to 12 players and I want everyone to be able to have their own tray, hey, the cheap ones will definitely work. If on the other hand, I'm looking for a good folding tray that I can pull out every game night or maybe as my go-to tray for traveling or certainly as a nice gift for someone, I'm leaning more towards the Harbor Loot tray. Generally speaking, one of my biggest fears personally is paying a premium for something that ends up being the same quality as a product I could have paid less for. So what I can say is that there is definitely a difference in quality between these trays. The Harbor Loot tray certainly feels more expensive when comparing them side by side. So you are getting more for your money from that regard. I'm not sure how often the Harbor Loot trays go on sale, but I took a look at their price history on Camel Camel Camel, and it does seem like they've gone on sale in the past. So if you happen to catch a sale where the trays are 10 to 12 bucks, to me it becomes a no-brainer. Throw in the fact that Harbor Loot is based here in the US, a veteran-owned company, and a company created by game enthusiasts like you and me, even more reason that I personally would choose to support them versus an unknown cheap manufacturer. The experience of rolling dice is further enhanced when paired with a Harbor Loot dice shaker. Believe it or not, I've never used a proper dice shaker before, and man, I've been missing out. I used to regularly play big epic games of Liar's Dice with red solo cups, and it was deafening. These are so much more satisfying to use by comparison. Admittedly, when I first opened them up, I thought they looked a little small, especially since I was so used to using 16-ounce solo cups. But then I realized how perfectly they fit in your hand. They just give you such a nice tactile feel, especially if you're playing a game where you're rolling more than three or four dice at a time. It's really satisfying to drop the dice into the cup, and like the dice trays, they give such a nice muted sound when shaking the dice. The size also means they don't take up a ton of room to store them. They give you a lot more control over your throw, especially if you or your friends have a tendency for rollaway dice that go flying off the table. You can even just slam the cup down and reveal Liar's Dice style. I'm really excited to give these a shot with Roll for the Galaxy. The shakers use the same pleather and velvet materials as the dice tray. Very nice quality and look great when paired with a tray of the same color. And these feature a gold Harbor Loot logo on the bottom. The shaker set retails for the same $14.99 price as the dice tray, but the shakers also come with a matching set of six Harbor Loot dice, 
making it a pretty good value. The dice have nice straight edges, not quite as sharp as casino dice, but much straighter than your typical board game dice with rounded corners. And of course, the sharper the edges of the die, the truer it will roll. It keeps your dice balanced and fair. So this is a pretty nice set of D6s that come with the set. If you were looking to put together a premium set of Liar's Dice for a big table, getting a bunch of these shaker sets would be a fantastic way to go, giving you plenty of dice for each player in a matching color. Now, earlier I mentioned I'm not too sure how often Harbor Loot runs sales on individual items, but I was looking at the site, and as of the time I'm making this video, they're running a promotion where if you buy two dice shaker sets, you get a free dice tray. Or if you buy two dice trays, you get a free dice shaker set. So if you're looking to stock up on some of these accessories, or maybe you're buying a bunch of gifts for folks, this essentially brings the cost down to $10 a piece, which, in my opinion, make them no-brainers in terms of value. So there you have it, the collapsible dice trays and dice shakers from Harbor Loot. I'm thoroughly impressed. I've had a blast using these for the last few months. I've pulled them out in every game session where we're rolling dice, and it was really nice to easily pack a few with me when I visited a friend's house. Now, if you're wondering where you can get these fantastic trays and shakers, or if you're just wondering how you can help support the channel, I've got an affiliate link to Harbor Loot down in the description. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it certainly helps out the channel. Every dollar that I make goes right back into the channel. For example, right now, I'm saving for a new camera and some lenses. I hope you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And thank you again to the good folks over at Harbor Loot. Go support them. I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.